Welcome on the journey, Taurus. Taurus, let's take a look at what you're releasing. Taurus, there's been a heaviness in my chest and a lot of emotions today. And everything in my world happens for a reason. It's usually to do with channeling. And I met some interesting people today and channeled some interesting messages through those people. And maybe it has something to do with you too. You have the throat chakra, which is about your confidence, how you communicate, how you express your creativity. I feel there's been a bit of anxiety, maybe social anxiety or shyness, fear of speaking sometimes, speaking up for yourself. You're being guided to align your mind with your heart and to make the choices that you need for yourself so that you can be free. I feel as if, Taurus, you have had these traditional viewpoints and methods and ways of doing things. Maybe you have been through different spiritual organizations and you have gone through the ranks. And a lot of people don't understand that about you. And they don't understand maybe necessarily how the way you are because maybe for some of you, you have had weak will, let's just say, or somebody around you has. Take it as you take it. But maybe there have been addictions and not always the best self-discipline. And so it has really affected your duality that you have, this duality in you to sometimes want to be the adventure, to want change, to want romance, to want fun, to serve that creative spark that you have. And then that's versus society taking care of your home, taking care of your family, taking care of your career, and the physical material needs of our world. And so this is where the conflict comes in. This is where there's been challenges within you. And it may be having, it might be affecting your body right now. There's, there's these tests or challenges that I feel that you're going through right now where you feel a little bit off balance sometimes. Maybe for some of you, you have asthma, some things that are coming to the surface, respiratory issues. And so you need to be gentle with yourself because you're healing from, for some of you, heartbreak, loss. It, uh, there's this part of your, your innocence that was lost, your inner child, that ability to be free. There's something that you've gone through deep in your past or you've been a witness to, and it has affected your well-being. It has affected your ability to love deep down how to even love yourself. And you're starting to understand there's this need to accept that maybe you've been avoiding or in denial of stuff that has happened in the past and it's been really difficult to accept and it's been very difficult because there's that your healing childhood 
trauma for some of you. But I feel as if you're starting to seek out people, support network. Maybe you are, you attend support networks and you feel like you are starting to release some of this stuff. You're feeling lighter, you're releasing the anger and you're starting to accept that you can't change the past. All you can do is change who you are and how you react in the world. And that's learning to accept yourself, learning how to accept others. And that sometimes is for their mistakes too. You need to be patient with yourself and loving with yourself instead of angry at the world. Sometimes it's easy to be angry with the world, isn't it? Well, let's take a look. I mean, that is the current energy that I'm picking up for you, that you're going through some emotional healing right now. To You're releasing this deep pain and forgiving yourself and others six of pentacles it hasn't been always equal it hasn't always been fair it hasn't always been harmonious and it's taken a lot of support it's taking a lot for you to heal and for there to be equality Maybe you've been trying to pay off a debt and you're, you've re or receive a loan. A lot of you might be even now volunteering for organizations. If you have been involved in cycles of addictions, you might be helping others with that process and to go through their healing journey. This is about service work. This is about work, health, healing, improvement. You, you've moved on from a cycle. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. It, it was disappointing to you all of it. Maybe there was a lot of drinking. So you walked away because you were yearning for something more, always wanting to escape. Maybe you moved. Could have been dealing with the Sagittarius, but it was very unpredictable. You've gone through unpredictability and now you're moving forward from something. You're moving away from something, page of the page of wands. It, this is about the fun times. This is about being outgoing and flings. There's Leo. This could be your energy or you could have been dealing with a Leo who might have been having flings in the past. That's one, one thing here. It's been really hard to take back your confidence. It's really taken you everything you've had to like have this mastery over your feelings, these passions perhaps for some of you could be, you know, that could be the aspect of addiction here. You have these high standards of people, but at times maybe, I'm just saying for some Taurus that Maybe you have impossible standards for other people too. 
and everybody is really just wearing this mask of ego deep down like that's who we are it's that this is our, our self i am the awareness of self that like our outward personality how we look to others that can really change a lot of people's perception and i've seen a lot of interesting youtube videos and there have been a lot of interesting studies to do with how clothing and how our body how our personality can be completely different than what we really are on the outside and maybe you've met some people that just they seemed like they were going to be one way but you walked away because it just didn't the cycle ended it just didn't go the way you had planned it was disappointing so you're getting organized there's somebody you want to apologize to or somebody who wants to apologize to you. It's an, the emperor here. So, and maybe a father figure you had in the past, you know, didn't make the best of choices. So you witnessed that. And so you learned from them and it was like part of us. A, a, and that's what I see in the wheel of, fortune here is that it, this is part of a cycle. It's been uh, a past cycle and it could have been a trauma filled cycle. Maybe your father left your family and your mom raised you and there was not a lot of support and your dad maybe was chasing Chasing the golden oranges. And it's been difficult for you, Doris, or for somebody that is, you might be resonating with. Let's get an angel message. Actually, you got two. 1919 wow maybe that has significance to you and 0808 fascinating cycles swift action yes the wheel of fortune so transformation is happening here karma will be paying you a visit to release the need to control because you cannot force things learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future Make some space for new experiences. You will enter a time of expansion, so begin taking steps forward toward achieving your ultimate objective immediately. Finances will miraculously improve. Oh, and somebody has their mind set on you. I've got my mind set on you. And I just saw 1313 pass by the screen. How about the angel message? Oh, not the angel message, the animal. Oh my goodness, it fell down. Oh, things fell. This is what happened. You've gone through a lot of growth. You have jaguar and turkey. And to me, it's like the jaguar wants to eat the turkey. Like there hasn't been, there's been predator and prey survival that you may, some Taurus may have been living Maturity is the ability to embrace change, and change cannot happen without death. 1313. 13. Mm. This death does not necessarily mean physical death, but could be the ending of a relationship, a situation, or simply your decision not to continue with the same old habits. Mm. And that is where I did see somebody's getting a hold of their willpower here. And they're getting organized, and they're they're learning from the past and they're moving away from this disappointing cycle, which is good news. You might receive a gift, an unexpected gift and accept this with deep respect. Someone has sacrificed a lot to help you open doors and grow. A lot of things will change for the better. Let's get an angel message. Archangel Chamuel or Chamuel. 
works on the pink ray of love and being blessed with this archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Love has no restrictions and accepts all people as they are, does not judge. That's what I was picking up on earlier. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger, and separation. Let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones, those you dislike and strangers. This creates a bridge of light which the angels can move along to bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed and filled with love. My heart is filled with the flame of love. Wow. So, unconditional love. And you know what? This is all the journey towards, this is what our journey is. It's learning about sometimes how we don't, have any control or we feel we give our control to other people we give them our power okay <laughs> dramatic a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath wow so literally for some people or someone in your life, this could be the end. There were choices made. That's for one. And we have a blessing for peace of mind. So if you're worrying a lot and maybe throughout Mercury retrograde, you were worrying a lot. Maybe you were indulging a little bit in impulse and you're a little bored and you want things to change. You want more adventure. You want freedom and because you are a free spirit. You are the adventure. The Taurus collective or those around, there's this magnetism that you have. You relate well to people. This is an interesting message, Taurus. Very interesting. Everybody has their own journey. They have their own way of doing things. And who am I to judge? Wow. That message has come out about learning how to accept yourself. Learning how to accept others. Not to judge Maybe you have been judged harshly over the years. And it could have been like organizations that you were part of put you in this little box, taught you one way of thinking and other people who were outside of that. And there, there are lots of organizations that if you're on the outside of that, it's like, there is judgment. So, set an intention to step out of judgment and consider the possibility that what works for you might not be right for someone else. Anything else? Let's see, any final messages? Okay, one word more of advice. Gifts from God. Well, we did talk about an unexpected gift. We angels being your... Okay, let me try that again. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Wow. And I see there's this connection, love, self-love here. There's that cup. All right, until we meet again on the journey. Taurus, thank you so much for being here in resonance. Sending you lots of love and light on the journey.